Hey Soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we are doing a message from your future self. And to do this reading we are going to be picking four piles together. I feel like these are these four. Wow. Okay, let's take these and see what we have for today's reading. One, two, three, and four. Right. <clears throat> so for pile number one, we have risk and dare. For pile number two, we have befriend. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Befriend pleasure. For pile number three, we have have patience. And for pile number four, we have set your intentions. If you like to pick with crystals, let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, we have the garnet. Let me adjust that so you can see. And this is what your crystal looks like. There we go. For pile number two, we have the bloodstone. And this is what your crystal looks like. There we go. For pile number three, you have the rose quartz. And this is what your crystal looks like. And for pile number four, you have the sodalite. And this is what your crystal looks like. So take a look at which one of these four piles you're the most drawn to and that will probably be the pile for you here today if you feel drawn to more than one pile or perhaps you feel drawn to all of the piles feel free to check them out in fact i do encourage you to fo follow your intuition whether it's drawing you to just one pile and you know that's it or several piles you they're grabbing your attention for one reason or the other or perhaps sometimes you're like i feel like all of the piles are calling for me today can i do that yes absolutely and um, follow your intuition whatever it is calling for you to do and as always you'll find the timestamps down in the description box click on your times and i'll see you in your readings Hey Soul family, welcome to your shuffling and card picking process. It is so lovely to have you guys around as we prepare for your piles. And today we're preparing for a, a message that I'm really looking forward to. I'm so curious and interested in what your future selves have to tell you in today's reading. So let's get straight into your preparation. But first, let me introduce your cards to you. On the left are the Oracle decks and on the right are the Tarot decks that we will be using for today's reading. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I use, uh, you will find that I leave their names down in the description box. All right. <clears throat> so let's get straight into it. Are these, how many are these? One, two, and three. So we want to know what is your message from your future self. 
All right, let's get to the next stick. I feel this one. Ooh. What is your message from your future self? Let's pick up the tea leaves and we're going to divide them into four parts, making it much easier to handle and shuffle. So, oh, this one. What is your message from your yourself there we go now let's pick up your tarot cards and we will be taking two cards, this one, for each pile. Thank you. Are these two? These are two, and these are two. Good. <laughs> so we were able to do it. I felt them. <clears throat> Again, I don't know what's up with that. So this one and this one. There we go. yourself want to tell you in today's reading what is your message from your future self with the garnet. Hmm, it's 
today's cards were relatively easy to handle. <coughs> That's two. With the bloodstone, three, mm -hmm. with the rose quartz. with the beautiful soda light so my dear soul family your readings and cards are now ready. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I love you guys very much. Thank you for being part of my soul family. And let's get straight into your reading. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the garnet as well as this really interesting card with a unicorn that says risk and dare very interesting you know the garnet is all about being bold and confident as well so i'm really wondering what this reading is going to be like and as you know we're taking a look at what your future self uh what is the message from your future self rather what is your message from your future self yeah so my dear pile number one, you have wise leader with you are a beacon for others. Already with a unicorn, you do struck me as a very um, unique soul, that is for sure. I'm not surprised you have cards like that at all. And I see your future self is talking about you doing something important in your future or, or from a time where you're having a great effect this could be next week this could be next month or next year who knows i don't know yet but it, your future self is talking about you making a huge effect on others or on something that's for sure okay let's keep your main card here you have uh, Mars in Virgo with criticism. And you have Rat, someone working against you behind your back. Interesting how you have this Rat and the criticism here. Wonder what this is going to be about, but it does look like there is opposite bold energy on your side. Okay. So let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the Page of Cups. You have the High Priestess. Again, this uh, important work that could be secret or you can be careful uh, doing important work that you're taking very good care of let's see see again we see you holding something dear to you and taking care of something utmost care dealing with it wisely and secretly as well you have the strength card hmm. you have the boy of intuition is the knight of wands yes the Knight of Wands. How interesting. Okay. You have the Chariot. 
you have judgment. Mm. Judgment and criticism there. Interesting. And, yeah, you're really taking care of something, protecting it mm, from people who could either misuse the information or tag you as something to divert attention. We'll see. We'll see what this is all about. You have the devil cards. Okay, better be careful of the new YouTube rules. So we have the devil. And... You have the Five of Wands with Strife. Right. Mm. Now I see. It does look like, my dear pal number one, that there is something close to your heart that you really want to do but you're afraid of societal judgment. You're, you may be worried about how they'll, they're, they're, they'll judge you. What are they going to say? And I totally understand how you feel. Because with the devil card, we can absolutely see that people may be ready to speak things that may be um, concerning to you. I totally understand. But do you see how you have risk in there? Risk. You, you have a strong message in your reading here of not losing what you want because in the long run, what you will lose in not following your heart is going to hurt way more than the silly things that people initially may have to say about your own dream and your own desire. And the reason I'm seeing it this way is because here we have Dante, uh, the Italian poet. Dante, the reason he's, he's, is depicted as the Page of Cups here uh, as a young boy is because when he was 12 years old, he fell in love with a girl called Beatrice. But his father what is it called bargained him or i forgot the word but he made him marry someone else who's probably more suitable realistically uh, to his family maybe i'm not sure why but i think maybe you know in the old days they used to marry each other for family businesses and certain family um relationships that were beneficials, beneficial to both families. But at the end of the day, so Dante, Dante married this girl, but always had Beatrice in his heart. Always. And so socially, she was known to Dante as, you know, a, a, an acquaintance that he merely knows. Barely knows. But in fact... Beatrice was really a, a muse, a very obvious muse in most of his work and poetry. Always kept her in his heart. So we can see here, depict, having Dante depicted in this age, 12 years old, we can see the idea of a long wasted life from the Page of Cups here. A long wasted lives, life, going in pain over not achieving what you want for the sake of not being judged for one reason or the other. What I'm seeing your future self clearly telling you is to risk and dare, risk it, move ahead with the chariot, have the strength to go after what you want. And that's what the Knight of Wands is all about. The Knight of Wands, this is actually the boy. Yes, that's the Knight of Wands. Because the page is the girl in this deck. So the Knight of Wands is someone who goes after their desires regardless of whether anyone likes it or not, of whether it selfishly goes after what they desire and want. 
And so this specific Knight of Wands is really interesting because this Knight of Wands is actually depicted in a spiritual um, manner. If I'm not mistaken, I think these are mosques at the back. I see candles. I see someone in business attire, one way or the other, surrounded by spirituality. Which tells me that what you want is very much in alignment with your spiritual journey. And we can clearly see here, see it here for you with the wise leader. You are going to become a beacon for others. It seems like you have a grand role and you are invited to follow your intuition, follow your heart. You have that desire for a reason. And although it may, may look scary, I see your future self giving the uh, giving you the message of continuing to go after what you want. You may want to start secretly with the high priestess. We've noticed with the high priestess from the very beginning that you're carrying something very important, very important work secretly. So don't follow a couple of people's judgment on superficial things, on things that really at the end of the day have no meaning just because they can be harsh and criticize. Do know that this harshness and criticism is a way for a lot of people to control others because of their shortcomings, how they're intimidated, how they are um the how they feel less so many other reasons and if the blabbering or the loud noise is the best that they can do let it go with the strife here let it go for the sake of you getting what you want in your heart and not living a long life with not achieving what you want just because some people are loud let it go is exactly the message Oh, that I see from your future self, my dear pal number one, with regards to following your heart. Your message is clear. Be bold with the garnet. Risk it. Dare it. Go after it. And you will see, coming from the future, you will see, your future self is saying that you will see that you will have the strength to do exactly what you want and, you know, the devil card is an illusion. That's why it appeared in your re reading today. It's something appearing as one thing, but really it's, it's another thing. Like we see a figure that's meant to be scary, you know, <laughs> looks like the devil, but the devil is an illusion. It cannot, the devil cannot work unless we follow it, you know. Um, it's this illusion of binding contract to take your soul no the devil can't do any of this thing these things the devil is an illusion you only give this binding or cannot break it because of this illusion the power that we give to the bad energy is the power that it has and so here with the devil card which is a card of illusion these scary judgments are really just an illusion at the end of the day they're not real they cannot do anything for you and the rat is a highly adaptable uh, creature meaning symbolizing that they may go wag 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 but at the end of the day they're going to adapt to who you're going to become and nobody's going to win but you because it is it's going to be what it is their voices are going to get small. They're going to feel small. Their effect as you grow is going to be small or as you reach your goal is going to be small. There's nothing, nothing they can do that um, can take away the biggest prize that you are going to get by following your spiritual journey, following even if your spiritual journey is not really... Um, maybe a job or you speaking about something could simply be following your heart to do something that speaks to you. Uh, do something against what they're expecting of you. Go to another country, 
Maybe they're expecting you to get married and have children. You don't want that for yourself. Maybe they're expecting you to work in a certain industry. You don't want that for yourself. Huh? Maybe you want to do something out of the ordinary and they don't, they'll feel threatened, but you feel like it's going to give you a lot of benefit and so on and so forth. Um, beacon for other, others here means whether it's work or not that you will become such an inspiration to others and you may be the reason so many people change their lives as they see you, see your life and see you rise and become amazing, see your unique way of living your life and it's going to become so desirable for others and this way you're really going to become a beacon for others. Uh, it could also be your spiritual job. It could be your, your job. And you have it with the high priestess showing up, you could have you may, a very high probability that this has to do with also following your spiritual goals uh, and inspiring others because you have a great role of being a message, a messenger that will deliver something very important to the people or to the world. So follow your heart. I keep seeing the third eye everywhere in your reading. Follow your heart. Follow what you intuitively believe in. Is your message from your future self, uh, my dear pile number one, in terms of what you may want to do or need to do at this stage of your life. Something is speaking to your heart. Follow it and don't regret it for the rest of your life. Thinking of what it would have been like to live that beautiful dream that you wanted. Go after what you want. Tone down the volume in your mind of these people. All they can do is blabber and it's all an illusion. They have, don't have real control of you. Risk it, dare it, is your message from your future self um, towards something that is important to you, something that you want to follow. Risk it and dare it, pile number one. This was your message and you are going to succeed as you risk and dare. Follow your heart. Don't be afraid of anyone. It's just loud noise. Don't get triggered by it. That was your message from your future self, my dear pal number one. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, if you enjoy Zodiac Tarot readings, make sure you check out my other channels, the first link in the description box. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book and my productivity uh, uh, cookbook. I know you're going to enjoy these books very much. Uh, the, the productivity book can really help you set goals for the next year and achieve them all while enjoying the process. This book really takes you through this process. It's small, straight to the point, and it'll be easy for you to read very quickly and apply easily uh, these things that really have an effect on people to change their uh, productivity. No matter where you are and be in your productivity journal, this book will help you out and will make you enjoy this process. Also, the productivity uh, cookbook can really help you out to set amazing goals for your health for the next year. I know that uh, we all want to eat healthy and delicious food, but it's about looking for the recipes and taking the day, preparing them. This book really solves these issues for you all together, allowing you to very simply keep a healthy diet you know, I just watched a video this morning of a, a hundred year old. It's in one of the shorts on YouTube. And he was asked, how come he's so smart at a hundred years old? So fit. He runs. He, he's amazing. I mean, he, he does not look like a hundred year old. He's amazing. And he said it was diet. It, the, he said there's no question about it. It's diet. And so... If you want to um, live a healthier lifestyle, this is your goal, but you just want something to make it super easy for you, this will be your book. I've partnered with a nutritionist that I love and believe in to bring out 210 recipes for you in all different snacks, dinner, breakfast, and everything for you to um, <clears throat> cook something that every day, different delicious recipes that are healthy. But the idea here is that they... Get cooked in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important to you. The recipes are easy to follow, very simple, 
I really, really stand behind this book. I hope you enjoy it too. I, I, I blabbered a lot, but I was passionate about this. You'll find both ebooks down in the description box if you're interested. Uh, there's also an audiobook, by the way, for the productivity uh, book. And my dear pile number one, thank you so much for tuning in. Go after what you want. Forget about everything. Go after it. Don't be afraid is what your future self is telling you. And my dear pile number one, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen Befriend Pleasure with a beautiful peacock up there. A door that is open. Interesting. And you have chosen the Bloodstone. Let's take a look at what your future self wants to tell you about, um, I, I don't know actually, <laughs> what is the message that your future self wants to tell you? About what? We're going to find out uh, in your reading today. All right, let's now take a look at your Oracle cards. Whoa, <laughs> so you have transformation. Wow, pile number two, what an amazing message. So a fresh new way of living emerges. Wow. All right. I think I'm going to love your pile and I love what your future self has done there or you are going to be doing there. Okay. You also have uh, Mercury in Scorpio with extremism and you have ladder climbing toward success. Oh my God. I love this message for you. Uh, my dear pal number two. Wow, I, I love stories like that. So exciting. Let's check the rest of your cards. So you have the seven of wands. You have the six of pentacles. Mm -hmm. You, oh, this one first. Okay. Whoa, you have the wheel of fortune. Wow. Okay, wow. You have, the, I mean, the ladder, the wheel of fortune, the transformation. What is going on here? You have the hang woman, which, uh, the hang women, which is the hang man. See a spiritual person here and I see tarot and crystals and tea and herbs. Ooh, okay. You have the ten of swords. The Queen of Swords. Certainly a lot of swords here. You have the King of Wands and a lot of red on this bottom row. Showing a lot of like a, a lot of energy here. King of Wands. <laughs> and the Seven of Pentacles. Success unfulfilled really cool that this is coming with all of this energy here because this right off the bat shows me that what you haven't been able to achieve before especially with the hanged man is going to reverse and you're going to be getting a lot of fortune because you're creating it for yourself with the king of wands here and all of this red i totally see that you, your future self is telling you that you have changed drastically in your future. You've ended a cycle of torture for yourself with the Ten of Swords. See, with all of the pins here, <clears throat> I feel like ping, pins, they sting, right? And Ten of Swords tells me that it's really been stinging you now uh, we're, we're taking a look at now it's been stinging you now because of the things you haven't achieved yet it looks like it's uh, very painful for you with this uh, the success that's unfulfilled for you in a certain area oh has have things changed in the future so with mercury and scorpio with extremism i feel like you know, Mercury and Scorpio 
is extremism. This is, um, I was going to say this is extreme. <laughs> it literally says extremism. Yeah, this was extreme, extremely t rough on you to not have achieved the things that are important to you. Very, it was very rough for whatever reason it was. It, it, it wasn't achieved. And with the Ten of Swords here, it's been pinching. Mercury and Scorpio and the Ten of Swords, it's been hurtful. It's been painful. It's been bitter. And I see <laughs> your future self telling you that this is not the situation at all any longer. Not any longer. Here, we see that you're now a friend of pleasure. Befriend pleasure. You're now a friend or you have become part of uh, not the society, the environment of what you want to achieve. You, your future self is coming from a time of huge success, perhaps a lot of fortune. If you want to achieve finances in specific, then it's talking about finance, especially that I see the Bitcoin here. But not necessarily. The Wheel of Fortune could signify that you're going to be very fortunate in achieving exactly what you want. And because of that, your future self is saying that you have gone so far and transformed so much. You won't even be able to recognize yourself or your life because of the changes and the transformations that you have done. Now, there is something that is really standing, standing out <laughs> for me in your reading. The shift in your situation when it comes to the dynamic of power is very apparent in your reading because take a look at that. Take a look at that. You have in one card, you know, what is it called? Misogyny. A, a man, I don't know, trying to beat a woman or trying to control a woman. It's like very nasty energy here. Whereas in this card, <laughs> we see a woman like being the one who, I don't know, cuts the flower like picks the man or you can clearly see she's the one in control in this situation. So one card, we see a woman being fully in control of the man. And in the other card, we see a man being in control of a woman. And no one wants to be in control of anyone. But my, my point is, Uh, no, I mean, no one should want to be in control of anyone. But my point here is that the situation and the power dynamic has changed in your future. I don't know what this is about. Maybe the power dynamic between you and someone or the power dynamic in your situation where you needed maybe other people. Now they need you or you feeling like you're in the weaker position because you can't achieve something. I, I really fe felt a extreme bad energy here in how you feel. Uh, and that's why I have the Ten of Swords. It's pinching. It's, it's painful. And so l your life has changed, my dear pile. Number two is what your future self wants to tell you in this message. Your situation, the power dynamics and something has changed and you're standing out like a peacock. I mean, look at how you're being predicted in your future. Isn't this magnificent? You have a peacock. Is that an eagle? I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. You have an eagle. You have a peacock. It could also be a phoenix rising from the ashes. But all overall, you can see that you're being depicted by your future self with very powerful uh, birds, you know, rising on top, flying, um, showing your wings, you know, showing who you are, standing out, being strong and opening up opportunities for yourself. Your future, my dear pile number uh, two, is completely different. And I say that with confidence because I see it in your cards. Um, and I usually don't like don't want to say it's bad now and it's good later but in your reading that's what it's saying it's saying that for some reason it's really bad now 
and in your future. It's really, really good, especially with befriend pleasure here. There is a drastic change in your fortune and in your power dynamic. Again, with the seven of wands, I don't know why this keeps appearing in your reading, the power dynamic. See, seven of wands, you see a lot of challenges of maybe people wanting to challenge a specific person. But do you see this person being intimidated? No, they're on a higher plateau. They have this stern look to them. They can defend themselves. They can attack. And these sticks can't even move because of the plateau, you know, can't even come near uh, this person. So we can clearly see that the same people or the same situation, the same circumstances can no longer touch you in the future. So much power in this reading. And in fact, with the hanged women here or the hanged man, I see that not only has your situation shifted completely, we keep seeing that over and over, but I see your future self telling you that you have become more spiritual, you've become more attuned to the universe. Some of you even want to learn tarot and more about herbs and, you know, get more into that, to the knowledge of healing maybe yourself um, the natural way. Nothing against uh, anything else. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. Um, so yeah, you're you are in your future so into spirituality. Obviously, you meditate, you could do yoga, you are um, getting your messages from the universe, whether by doing your own tarot cards, listening to tarot, or um, um, any other, uh, I forgot what it's called, maybe astrology, yeah, astrology as well. Any way where you can get your messages from the universe. You're so attuned. You're so connected. You're so calm. You're so strong. And you're uh, with the hanged man. You're so aware. You, yeah, you've gained so much awareness about everything. Your future literally is super bright. Uh, my dear pile number two and your future self is coming to tell you that things have changed and is coming here to tell you that, see that, with the unsu with success unfulfilled and the hand, your future self is saying, it's all in your hand. You can do it. You can change the situations, the situation for yourself. Queen of Swords is not emotional. And that's, that means that you can change your situation by not being emotional, dwelling on the past, dwelling on your shortcomings maybe or the lack of resources or any type of emotional aspect that could be pulling you behind and hurting you. Your future self is telling you the day you have changed is the day you decided to be disciplined or but because that's the queen of swords. Disciplined, serious, doing what is necessary is the energy of the queen of swords. Whether you feel like it or whether you're in a good mood or whether you feel great or not. And my dear pile number two, this is what I see, but hold on, I just noticed something. You know how pins are dangerous if they're laying around? They can fall, they can get into someone's feet. There, it's a very small yet dangerous tool. And that's why it's very important to organize them into something that you can put them in where the most dangerous part of them is um, stuck into this cloth and this way you can use it carefully and put it back. I'm seeing here, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, as your message to end this torture cycle with the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is the end of a torture cycle. To end, you know, I will also want to tell you that the Ten of Swords and the Rider Wade Smith, the regular Ten of Swords, is depicted as a figure faced um, down on the floor with a lot of swords on their back. It's like they're beaten down. They just can't do anything about it. And so here, your future self is telling you that you absolutely have something to do. You absolutely 
have something to do about it. The idea, because the swords are ideas, right? The idea that you're beaten down or that you can't is a wrong misconception. In fact, it's right in conjunction with the Seven of Wands, showing that you are on a higher plateau. You may not realize it, but you are in the bit better position. And so, realize that what you're afraid of are not swords, they're pins. Yes, pins can be dangerous as we've uh, established or, or we know, but they're pins, they're not swords. And the best way to deal with them is to both realize their insignificance because they're not swords in, the, in this specific situation, but you also have to put into account like you do that they can hurt, but do they hurt like the swords? No. And if you deal with them appropriately, they will no longer ever be dangerous to you. And in that case, um, we deal with pins by bringing something, creating a system and pinning them down to take away the most dangerous part of the situation. And so it's really about thinking of a solution that will once and for all help you achieve what you want and, and no longer have to worry about it because you will realize that they were never swords. They were just pins. And how many of us spend our days thinking about pins? If they were swords, we better think about them. But pins, we have a system for them. We put them away, tuck them away carefully. Yes, carefully. We have rules. We have a bunch of rules when it comes to dealing with them. And that's it. Tuck them away safely. When using them, one has to be careful, follow the rules, put them back, know how many you've got back and so on. This way you stay safe and ju they're just pins. So that's exactly the, the thing that I've noticed here with the Ten of Swords to end this cycle and begin this amazing uh, person that you're going to be, this fortunate life that you're going to live with the Six of Pentacles. I see a lot of generosity here, either generosity with with money because you have the wheel of fortune and the six of pentacles or generosity of living the life that you want and getting more out of it than what you really want and that is by putting things down into their right size but at the same time not neglecting that they can hurt just putting a system to how one can deal with it and this is exactly what i see in your reading my dear pile number two such an interesting reading uh, I've personally have learned a lot <laughs> from your future self. I love these readings for this read reading. Everyone comes with their energy and there's so much to learn. So thank you for tuning in, my dear pal number two. That was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, if you enjoy Zodiac Tarot readings, make sure you check out my other channel. It's the first link in the description box. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book and my productivity uh, e-cookbook as well. I know you're going to love them. They could really help you out for the next year to set the tone right and achieve everything that you want. The productivity book is small, straight to the point. You won't procrastinate procrastinate reading it, but really, you'll find that it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. There's also uh, an audiobook if you love listening to your books. And with regards to the productivity cookbook, I, I've done it hand in hand because a lot of the times, the things that waste our day, although it's a very important thing, is our food. We want to eat delicious food, but we also want to eat healthy food. And so this is why I partnered with a nutritionist that I love and believe in to bring this out for you, because I believe that uh, he really he's really done this so well to bring out healthy and delicious meals. That's why I love this nutritionist uh, to um, uh, um, being able to cook, to cook and enjoy healthy meals that are delicious. Not only that, the whole idea about this book is that it helps you very easily prepare these meals 
in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important to you. The recipes are clear. Uh, there are nutritional values for every recipe, a picture. Everything is super clear. I'm very passionate about this. Uh, um, I know a lot of people enjoyed it, and I hope you do too for the next year for you. There's a vegan version, by the way. If you're not vegan, you can make use of both books because there are no duplicates. And this way you get a plethora of things uh, to eat during your year. And my dear pal, number two, thank you so much for tuning in. It was so enjoyable doing this reading for you. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful rose quartz as well as have patience. Very interesting card. I wonder what this is all going to be about. There's softness, there's patience. Let's see what this is trying to say and what your message is from your future self. All right, as usual, we'll be uh, first taking a look at your oracle cards first. Yeah, first taking a look at your oracle cards. You have traveling lightly. Simplify your life. How interesting. Okay, we see a message there that says this way. This could, could this be a bin? Could be. All right, let's keep it there. You also have, ah, it must be a bin because it says simplify your life. You have the moon in Scorpio with power. And you have bag, something important such as a new job or a race. Oh, okay. That's why we get the message of have patience. It seems like something powerful is in store for you. But it also says simplify your life and travel lightly. Let's see what this is all about as we take a look at the rest of your reading. So my dear pile number three, you have, oh, there is, hold on. There we go. You have the three of swords. Hmm, okay. You have... The Ace of Cups. You have the Man of... Oh, Man of Currency. This is the King of Pentacles. That's really cool. Talk about you getting something here. We see a lot of money. Just saying. <laughs> Could be a lot of wealth coming in for you. All right. You have, ooh, Girl of Hearts. This is the Page of Cups. We see popularity, being liked, um, following. It could be being admired. Something, something is really cool is up here that you're going to really love. That is, a, that is different from how you feel at the moment. There's a new beautiful start for you. Because at the moment with the Three of Swords, and seeing half patience, I'm seeing your future self talking about how it hurts now and how painful it is now versus how amazing, my goodness, it's going to be in your future. Your future self is coming from a time where you're probably wealthy, loved, admired, powerful. Also, um, it looks like there's so much more to come that maybe you're not meant to know now. It's not meant to be revealed, but there are so many surprises that are coming up. There, This is a big cup. You're cu there's so much to be filled in. You have the nine of wands. I see a ladder. I see you climbing. That, I think, came up in pile two. The ladder growing, going up, uh, reaching your goals. You have ooh, the nine again, the nine of pentacles. You know, nine of pentacles, in a, a, um, one of its meanings could be a dream coming true. And I see a dishwasher, a clean slate, a clean plate, um, where you're starting a new and living now or in the future 
what you what you wanted for yourself hmm. you've gone through a cycle because that's what we see in a dishwasher you've gone through a cycle of cleansing and you have begun anew healed the pain and you've begun and you in the past perhaps simplify your life and travel lightly now seems to me like your future self is telling you to let go of the pains let go of the past let go of the things that used to hurt you because they're no longer even remotely existent in your future your future is something else completely you have hold on a hanged man and you have the Eight of Swords. All right. This is very, very close to pile number two. So if you were drawn to pile number two, I wouldn't be surprised. If you were drawn to pile number two, you may want to check it out. Because they also had the Hanged Man here. Was it the King of Pentacles? I don't know. But it was a shift in situation, especially when it comes to finances. So that was very clear in pile number two. You might want to check it out. So there's a huge shift as noticed in everything in your life. How you're loved, um, your, your financial situation, your power, it seems. You're in a powerful position uh, in your future, even with how you're feeling stuck now. Hangman is also in conjunction with that. How you're feeling stuck. The cleansing process and how you've healed and how you've grown uh, spiritually, professionally, financially. In so many ways, you have gone up the ladder. And I do see with the Nine of Wands and specifically that you have put in that effort. You have put, you were bold, you were brave with the Nine of Wands. And you've taken the necessary steps to push yourself up. And so it may not be easy on you at the moment. And um, your life at the moment, as you're listening to this, could be different from what you're hearing now uh, in some ways. And so I see your future self telling you, have patience. You will see that how things are about to shift and transform for you. You have no idea how your world has changed and transformed from what you're feeling or seeing right now in your wands. Uh, sorry, in, <laughs> in your life. And with the nine of wands, I'm seeing that the wonderful thing about you and your future is that you've, you, you've done all of this on your own. The things that you are doing today or you're about to do today will have a drastic change in your life. I see you're about to start beginning that journey of cleansing, moving towards what's important, doing what is speaking to your heart, cleansing, healing. You're starting that journey. And so I see your future self telling you, do know there's so much ahead. And in order to have that em empty bag to get so much, you need to cleanse out the past, throw it in the bin, let go of uh, memories, let go of uh, past failures, just let it go. Whatever is in the past happened, let it, let go of people who are not worthy of gaining your respect and your time. Let everything go. People, um, things that you don't like, by planning for them, by... Um, Working your way is the word I'm looking for. By working your way through them. You see how this person is climbing a ladder with one foot, but it still has her foot on uh, this tool on the ground. Meaning that it's okay to not let go of everything all at once. Take it step by step. Whenever you can transform something in your life and take steps and it's forming well you, and now you can let go of this maybe job or person or situation or flat or house or place or whatever it is then you can start taking that step but it all starts with taking it step by step until you have the power and the confidence 
to leave something behind that you may have used for a while to cleanse and heal and grow and then drop what is not worthy of being in your life. I see that you are holding a bucket, constantly cleansing what should not be in your life and going up further towards exactly what you want. Cleansing is all over your reading. Uh, why? Because I see with the Three of Swords a lot of burn, a lot of pain, a lot of heartache. And I see your future self telling you, um, really, whatever happened, let it be in the past because you only have one sign this way. And that is moving towards the future. And it's it, it doesn't matter what happened in the, fa in the past because what's coming in the future is much more significant and amazing, amazing than you can imagine. It will blow your mind with... We see with the hearts and the currencies how your heart is fulfilled and how your pocket is fulfilled as well, how you're feeling powerful, empowered in the future, how there's so many amazing things coming up for you. The most important thing with the Eight of Swords, you no longer feel like you are not in control, that you are stuck. That is no longer part of your future. There is a great emphasis on how you are loved in the future. This could be you being in an environment with so many people because I see a lot of numbers, but I see one message. Do you see that? A lot of numbers, but one message. This could signify that you'll have a lot of people in your future that will love you for who you are and admire you. You'll be surrounded by a healthy, beautiful environment that encourage you but it looks like for a lot of you there is a special person there in your future that your future self is talking about this could be a lover a spouse this could be a family member it could be a child i'm not sure but there's one very dear person showing up in your future that is there for you uh, that is a relationship or a connection that means very much to you. Hmm. Right. And I see steps with the journey here. I see steps up the ladder. I'm seeing steps. And so it, we even see slippers here being <laughs> highlighted in your reading. And so the clear message uh, in your reading from your future self is to start. Take it step by step. Begin the journey of purging and moving forward. Always, every single day, cleaning, clearing something up that should no longer be in your life. Making a new beginning for yourself. Every single day towards the things that are important to you. Because as you see with half patience here, Although this may not be the situation now, but have patience has a strong, potent message of, boy, you don't know what's coming. And I wish I can tell you so much more, but it seems like with the bag here, you've got to experience it. <laughs> but there's so many surprises coming up that I see your future self showing here as you will not believe what's coming. So have the patience Know that there are big things are coming and a, a journey, you know how they say a journey of a thousand steps starts with one step. And remember, just starting is could be a small little thing, a small step. You know how uh, Neil Armstrong, if I'm not, if I'm quoting this correctly, said it's one small step for a man, but one giant leap for mankind. And I see that in your situation, even though it's just a step, it's a big step because just starting is where most people, what most people don't do. And so the people who reach far ahead are the people who just started. And so take a step, take a step is what I'm seeing your future self telling you. We see the foot, of course, everywhere. Take a step. This step will be the, the uh, what is it called? The most blessed step 
you have taken all your life because it will change all of your future. Take it step by step every day. As you take your steps, a day to a week, three weeks, a month, maybe you look behind and you go, whoa, I did go far and so on. Every little step contributes to a, a, a little part of a mile and every mile contributes to the journey that you want to take. And soon you'll be living the dream with the heart here in conjunction to the nine of pentacles. You'll be so pleased with the new beginnings that you have created for yourself. Uh, my dear pal number two, your message from your future self is very clear. Start today. Your future is something that I, that cannot be described, only lived, uh, my dear pile number three. And this is exactly what I see in your reading. I hope you've enjoyed it, my dear pile number three. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, if you enjoy Zodiac Tarot readings, make sure you check out my other channel. It's the first link in the description box. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book and my productivity cookbook. These two combos can really help you out in your life. You have no idea how much they were done with passion and with the full intention of helping. The productivity book is small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it. But you'll find that it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. Um, there's also an audiobook for the productivity cookbook, if you're uh, sorry, for the productivity book, if you love listening to your books. And with regards to the productivity cookbook, I've also created that. I've uh, partnered with a nutritionist that I love and believe in to bring out a book that has a plethora of recipes, 210 recipes of dinner, snack, lunch, salads, you name it. Mm -hmm. So that this way you're able to cook healthy and delicious meals in a matter of minutes, giving you the rest of the day to do what is important to you. That was the whole idea of the book. And for it, for healthy meals to be delicious, to have a huge variety, to enjoy your meals, but done clearly, the nutritional values are in every recipe. It's very clear, very easy to apply, whether you know how to cook or not. Very simple, also uh, cooked in a matter of minutes. There's also a vegan version. If you are a vegan, if not, you can perhaps enjoy both books with a plethora of recipes, 420 to enjoy the rest of your year. And my dear pile number three, thank you so much for tuning in. It was great and um, really, uh, what is it called? Encouraging doing this reading for you. I feel so much power in me. <laughs> oh, look, power. That's exactly how I feel and motivation from your reading. Thank you so much for your sharing your energies with us and tuning in. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number four. Welcome to your reading. You have chosen the beautiful Soda Light as well as Set Your Intent. Sorry, there we go. Set Your Intentions. Very intrigued about your reading. I see a lot of butterflies. Uh, let's see what your future self wants to say. It depends, of course, on the collection of cards that you have for your reading. To see the specific message that uh, your future self wants to deliver to you. So we'll be starting off with your oracle cards first. You have... Ooh, la la. You have uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. I just know already <laughs> that I'm going to love this pile, as usual. All right, so you have uh, Jupiter in Pisces with seduction. And let's keep it down there so we have space. You have, ooh, bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Seduction and admirer, so cool. Some of you. Uh, some of you, but I see, of course, more here. Some of you will be contacted by someone who's greatly into you. There's a lot of butterflies in your stomach. I see your future self 
explaining that there is beautiful romance happening for you in the future if you're single and looking so that's a message there anyways let's see what's going on for the rest of your reading you have the two of pentacles okay you, I see actually with this two of pentacles, two things happening for you. So this could be a, a significant part of your reading, actually. All right. You have the star card. Wow. Wow. You have a big dream coming true for you. Or you're living the dream in your future. That's why all of these butterflies are so excited uh, your future self is a coming from a time where you're so excited and living your best life or you've achieved your dreams. You look to me like you are stable, you are wealthy, you're blessed, you're happy, perhaps even in a romantic relationship. Let's see. You have the temperance card. Uh, you know, even though this is... a. Um, pendulum it's kind of making me feel like tiktok it's only a matter of time before temperance also reminds me of two right so two things happening here it's only a matter of time before these two things happen for you okay and by the way if you're not looking for a relationship the second thing may not be a, be a relationship it may be something that you really love and admire popping up in your life. So you have ooh, the lover's card. For a lot of you, my dear pal number four, I'm going to be honest, for a lot of you, this looks like love. But again, I know it's a general reading and I respect all energies. Uh, if this is not what you're looking for, then do know that your message still means two things, right? So you have the king of cups someone's going to be very intoxicated by you with the king of cups here or you if this is not something you're looking for you're going to feel so happy to an extent where you feel high that's very very apparent in this pile with all of the butterflies here Ooh, talk about temptation devil card a cake okay again if this is a relationship, uh, then there's strong attraction here. A lot of temptation, a lot of attraction. If this is not a relationship, it's something that you greatly desire. Again, we saw desire. No, we didn't. It's something that you greatly desire. You have the sun card. Ah, you know, here you have the Hebrew letter Reish, which means the back of the head. So one of these wishes are clear. You know you want it. The other wish seems something that you want at the back of your head. It's like maybe you're not focused on it now, but it would be lovely to have it. Again, the temperance card. I'm telling you, it looks like you're getting two things in your future and it's really going to feel magical hmm. one one of them is um um an earth element like the pentacles and the other one is a water element like the cups so it, one of them could, one of your wishes, not could, this one's clear. It seems like it has to do with wealth, pentacles, all of the bounty here. And the other one seems to be something of an emotional nature. Could be for a lot of your relationship or it could be something that you've, you're really wishing for, for. All in all, the star and the devil card. Uh, centering your reading shows that it's something that you greatly desire hope for wish for that uh, is that are coming true because here you see several things so several things two hands holding a star again i'm seeing the idea of two things happening uh, in your life and i see your future self saying you're really going to be excited you're going to have butterflies in your stomach going oh 
this is what I wanted <laughs> in life. This is what I wished for. And you're really living the dream here of the things that you've always wanted. Let's say the other emotional thing is you've always wanted a child because the sun card has to do with innocence and children. Maybe the other thing that you really wanted was um, uh, a healthy weight and eating what you want. Maybe the other thing that you wanted is feeling happy with the King of Cups here. You know, we see the idea of feeling high. People get intoxicated to feel good, right? So the idea of feeling high, feeling ele elated, feeling happy is something that your future self is saying. That could be, for a lot of you, it with the Sun card and the King of Cups here. You're really feeling your best. You're excited. And so, with all of this happening and going on in your future, I see that your future self is saying that you really manifested this with the soul delight because the soul delight has to do with our mind. Whether our 3D mind, that's our physical mind, and our spiritual mind, you know. And so, here I'm getting the idea of manifestation. Your future self is telling you that everything you're going to write, wish for, um, post, because these look like posters to me, uh, 50s posters, anything you post, anything you write, anything you imagine in your heart. I'm seeing a pendulum. It's kind of like um, meditation or hypnosis, convincing yourself that it's going to happen. Belief, you know, the idea of belief is really going to turn this into... Oh, sorry. Let me adjust that. It's going to turn this into an alchemical process where magic happens and you get exactly what you want. Your future self is telling you that they've realized that you are a great manifester. Someone who's more than capable of achieving their dreams and achieving the things that they want. And so they're telling you since they've realized that they are manifestors, they now um, work with energy, they now, um, um, what is it called? They visualize it, they rationalize it, they believe it so much in the heart, they um, desire it, they, they know they're going to get it, they feel happy about getting it before getting it. You know, I'm, I'm seeing the, really, the idea of, an alchemical process affecting your whole world, affecting the aura around you, having, you know, this connection between you and the ether and the other world, the spiritual world, where you're able to manifest down in the 3D for yourself what you want in this life. So your uh, future self's greatest message, surprisingly, in your reading, is that they've realized that you are amazing manifestors. And with set your intentions here is your future self is telling you, I've decoded this, I found it out. Whatever you set your heart to and believe in, you're going to be able to manifest in your real world. And that's why you have the back of your mind. I see why we have, I've noticed Raish here. You know, it's not thinking with your conscious mind of, how, of whether you're going to do it or not. It's thinking with your unconscious mind, at the back of your mind, your un subconscious mind, believing that, you know, letting the light enter your subconscious mind by believing you're going to achieve it, desiring it and feeling elated that you are going to have it, rather than doubting it, will will create, will manifest things for you. Your future self is obviously saying they've cracked the code and this is how they're doing it. This is what they, they don't want you to spend years without doing this. Do it. They are saying it works. It works. Go ahead and uh, believe the, uh, the unbelievable and uncover it for yourself because you will be getting all of your dreams come true. I don't know, draw it out. Whatever tool that will help you bring this desire out as you're working on it, to feel it and to imagine it and to live it vividly. Uh, you know, with, 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 is this beer? 
with alcohol, we get into like another world, you know? So it's kind of like detaching from the conscious and getting into the unconscious, living it, believing it, uh, feeling it, knowing it, just be be believing it without the uh, attachment, by just feeling happy that it's going to happen. And it looks like it will or everything that you want will be happening for happening for you. You know, draw things, keep a board, keep posters in your wallet or in your notebook. Put the pictures around you of the things that you want or the or your drawings of them. Your future self, I, I'm really seeing this here for you, is saying it works. So watch it happen for you. You know, I'm also seeing the idea with seduction here, come to think about it, that if, like, you're manifesting something, because I'm seeing cigarettes here, and it starts not going in the direction that, that you want, start manifesting again, you know? Start adjusting it, start drawing, start imagining, start, think, start of course, making changes in the 3D, but also with your unconscious mind because you are a, a great manifester my dear pal number four this is your message from uh, your future self i cannot wait for you guys in pile number four to try this out i really if this was my pile i would really try this out right away especially that it works for you i wish you all the best of luck my dear pile number four this was your reading this was your pile all the best of luck May you always enjoy and achieve the things that you want. This was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, if you enjoy Zodiac Tarot readings, make sure you check out my other channel. It's the first link in the description box. And please don't forget to check out my productivity book and my productivity cookbook. I've done these for you with every bit of my heart, making sure you really benefit from these books when you get them. The productivity book is small, straight to the point, and so you won't procrastinate or waste time reading it but you'll find that it has all the key advice and secrets to becoming a productive person right away, all while enjoying the process. There's also an audiobook, and with the Productivity Cookbook, I've done it hand in hand because I believe that eating healthy is important, but eating delicious food is important, and you know, going through the hassle of finding the right recipes that are delicious and healthy at the same time and preparing and taking hours really takes off yeah. from our day. And so a lot of people who really want to be healthy um, may put it off. And so I really did it to provide you with the opportunity to just start. I've partnered with a nutritionist that I love and believe in, and we've created 210 recipes that are healthy and delicious. And the important part is it is uh, prepared in a matter of minutes. Every recipe has the nutritional values. Also, there's a vegan version. And if you're not vegan, there are no duplicates. Maybe you want to make use of both books to have a plethora of delicious things to uh, cook from to help you out for the rest of the year next year to help you kickstart. Because if you want to be delish, uh, delicious, <laughs> if you want to be healthy and eat delicious food, this book could really do it simply for you. And my dear pile number four, thank you so much for tuning in. Wish you the best of luck and I'll catch you in the next reading.